Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more small topic in C programming that is uh, macros. So this macros is a small piece of code so which is implemented by using a preprocessor directive. The preprocessor directive hash defined. Right? So this is a small code, so similar to our function. So this will be implemented by using the preprocessor directive hash defined. So these macros are divided into three categories. One is uh, object like macros. So which is a simple uh, implementation like a constant definition. So we'll do a value for the for the uh, variable so hash uh, defined some n as a 10 so the value of 10 will be stored in n so the 10 will be substituted in n in the expression itself so this is like a object like a macros right and the next one is chain macros chain macros so we'll see the syntax now and uh, I will show the implementation in the compiler itself, right? So chain macros, see example, hash define constant pi and in the second one define pi 3.14. See, if you use this pi, Okay, if you use this constant in the expression, that will be substituted by pi value and the pi value is substituted with 3.14 in the expression. So for example, in the expression, if you are using some constant, some constant. So according to the macro, the constant value is pi and according to the macro, the pi value is 3.14. So this is called a chain macros, chain macros. Okay, so instead of using the direct value, we are giving indirect, right? So in the first macro, we are defining some sort of a variable and some value. And this value is defined in the second line. Okay, so this, this type of macros, we call it as a chain macros. If you, if you display this constant, automatically the constant value is pi and the pi value is 3.14. So the constant value will be 3.14. It will print 3.14 if you print the constant value right and the third one is a function like macros function like macros so here we can simply use a function and wherever we pass the parameters that parameters will be implemented in that particular function for example hash uh, define some sum a comma b a plus b so this is the expression which is evaluated in in the place of sum a b so if you take in the program a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 so whenever you call this sum a comma b automatically these values a and b values will be applied here so the result will be 10 plus 20 will get a 30 as a result so here we should be careful that while writing the expression it's a very important because the values will be as it is it will be executed in this particular macro right and this will not be saved in any memory right one more thing the uh, the in the macros if you are using the macros so the values or the variables will not be stored in the memory right for example let us take one more example hash define so if you apply some uh, product product of a comma b and if you are using a into b right and if you are using some a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and if you apply the product of 1 comma 2 that means a comma b a comma b then the result would be 1 into 2 a value 1 and b value 2 so that will be 3 similarly if you are using the function like product of a plus 1 b plus 1 a plus 1 and b plus 1 here observe 
so the values will be just this will be copied into the expression now you can observe in the place of a so 1 plus 1 into p plus 1 b is 2 2 plus 1 so you can observe the result so according to the operator precedence 1 into 2 will be evaluated first so it will be 1 plus uh, 2 plus 1 which is nothing but a 4 Right? So here a into b, a, a value, the parameter will be just copied here, a plus 1 into b plus 1. Right? So the expression will be in this way. And if you are using this expression like a inside the parenthesis and into b inside the parenthesis, now the expression will be a plus 1 into b plus 1. That means a plus 1 means 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1. So 1 in 1 plus 1, 2 into 2 plus 1, 3. 2 into 3, 6. Then you will get the answer as 6. See, a plus, so the expression will be in this way. If the macro is defined in this way, right? So, a value, so a plus 1 brackets into b plus 1. So, just the a value and b value will be copied in the macros. So, a value, 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1. So, 2 into 3 that will be 6 so if you are not using this uh, if the expression is in this way so the a value a plus 1 into b plus 1 so a value 1 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 so according to the operator precedence first it will be evaluated 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is nothing but a 4 we get a different output right so the macros usage of macros is the values will be directly copied into the macro value okay so we must be careful while writing the functions in the macros here right so these are the different uh, categories of mac macros object like macros chain macros and function like macros Right? And this macros will be implemented with the help of the preprocessor directive hash define. Hash define. Right? So now uh, let us see the implementation of all these three categories in the compiler. So let's move on to the compiler. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the definition and uh, the syntax for implementing the macros. We will see the implementation part right now. So let us see the all three categories. So first category object like macros. So first let us include the header file hash include stdio.h and then we have to write the macro here. So if it is an object like macro, so these macros will be defined by using hash define preprocessor direct to hash define some l is equal to some hundred or some a is equal to 100 right and one thing you have to remember this macros will not be terminated by using the semicolon so you need not use the semicolon for the termination and see uh, let us write the main function and uh, we will try to print the macro the value of a inside the main function so printf value of a is the value is a uh, integer so we can use a percentage d and give the value a all right and c this is simply uh, this is macro 1 dot c yes so this is similar to our defining a constant right so in the previous sessions we have recorded a one video regarding the constants how to define a constants and in that uh, we have seen the two methods to define a constant one is by using the cost keyword and another one by using this preprocessor direct to hash define so this is this is nothing but defining a constant which comes under this object like macros so if you simply execute this program so directly we'll get the value of a to be printed in the screen see here we'll get the value so value of a is 100 so directly here the value 100 will be copied to a assigned to a so this is object like macros so the second one chain macros macro 2.c 
this is a chain macros in the second category it's a chain macros hash define uh, let us declare some constant pi and hash define pi with the value 3.14 so here uh, let us here uh, let let us see the value of uh, constant is some percentage f and here it is a constant you can observe here we are this we are uh, writing or displaying the constant value but we'll get the value as a 3.14 just observe i am executing this one so you can see value of constant is 3.14 because the value of constant is pi and we are giving the value of pi in another macro right so this is called a chain macro so the constant the constant uh, value is defined in one macro as a pi and the value of pi was given in the second macro so the, like this if the macro is implemented we can call it as a chain macros chain macros right so value of one value will be defined in a, another macro right so hope you understood this chain macros and the third one is a function like macros function like macros see macro 3.c this is a function like macros function like macros now here instead of using this one we will define some function here so let us take some sum of a comma b is nothing but some a plus b right so directly the a value and a b value will be copied in the expression itself so here let us take uh, the a and b values so printf enter value of values of a and b right so here we will write the scanf to read the values of a and b so percentage d percentage is d ampersand a comma ampersand b now we got a values of a and b now we have to call the function so the sum sum of of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d right here uh, what we have to do we have to give the values for the first percentage a d it's a, a b and sum of uh, a comma b so similar to our functions concept similar to our functions concept so uh, let us execute this one so here we are not writing any function but we are defining a macro we are defining a macro so if you execute this one see we'll get the sum so and a and b value will be directly copied to the uh, function i mean macro see 10 and 20 the sum of 10 and 20 is 30 so we are not writing any functions here we are defining the macro here see if the same thing is implemented with a product so product of a comma b and here also we will write a product of a comma b right so if you execute this one what will have it will ask for this one so i'll give two and three so two and three is a six two and three is a six so if you use here let it be a plus one sorry a plus one and b plus one a plus one and b plus one if i execute this one i'll give similarly one and two so actually a plus one and b plus one so a plus one means one plus one and b plus one is two plus one three right so 2 into 3 it will be 6 right so 2 into 3 it will be 6 now what happens here the result will be 4 the result will be 4 because the macro directly this a plus 1 is substituted here and a b plus 1 is substituted here so what we have done see so a plus 1 into b plus 1 which is nothing but 1 sorry 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 so according to the operator precedence 1 plus 2 plus 1 
so which is nothing but 4 so this is how the macros the values will be substituted here the values will be substituted here right see a into b that means a plus 1 is a first parameter and the b plus 1 is a second parameter so a plus 1 will be directly substituted in a and b plus 1 it will be directly substituted on b right so according to this one operator precedence we will get the value so that's why if you give the values uh, a and b as a 1 and 2 so we will get the result as see so instead of writing all this one the result is right so if you execute this one if you give the values of a, a and b as 1 and 2 so we'll get the value is sorry 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 here we have to take this one right now let us check one and two so we'll get the result is a four right so i one into two it's a four and if you use a macro like this so if you give the parentheses individually then we'll get see here we'll get a plus one into b plus 1 so here 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 so what about the here we will get 2 2 into 3 so which will be the result is 6 if the expression is here like this the result will be 6 see now execute 1 and 2 we will get the result as 6 right so hope you understood this one so while writing the macro we need to be careful because the va the variables or the parameters will be directly copied into the macro right so this type of macro we call it as a function like macro so here we are writing some function here we are writing some function right so hope you understood this one these three categories of macros all the macros are uh, implemented with the help of a preprocessor directive hash define hash define right so hope you understood the implementation and if you are having any doubts regarding these macros feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much